Hello world, welcome back to Cybercrete. Today in this video, we are going to discuss something very, very interesting. Uh, there is one tool that can help you in the case of cyber security, ethical hacking and uh, security defense too. So this tools can answer most of the questions related to using Linux, using different uh, hacking tools, cyber security tools and things like that. So if you are interested in knowing these tools and this tools gives you proper line by line commands too. So please make sure to watch this video till the very end so that you know how to use the tool and how to make most out of it. So with that said, let's get this video started. So the first thing uh, I have opened up the browser uh, to help you show that particular model. So the name of the model is the white rabbit neo so if you search that particular model uh, let's search is uh, white rabbit neo so it is not showing anything special but just as you write hugging face then it is going to show you that particular model because this is the model that is basically fine-tuned on llama 2 which is a very good model it is equivalent to chat gpt 3.5 then it is fine-tuned on cyber security data a lot of it and thus it is able to answer any questions related to cyber security and defense so here you are going to see uh, it is a 13 billion parameter which is uh, for normal use for people like us but there is also one kind of hidden model that is 33 billion parameter model which is inside beta and uh, maybe the time you are watching this video it may be out and it is going to be like 13 billion and 33 billion parameters so you can clearly see how much better it is going to be as compared to the model that we are going to see in this video so it is going to be much better than the model that we are going to see so let's have a quick look at this so the white rabbit new uh, this is the model's logo so here is uh, it have provided the code if you want to access it by writing the code and try to create some software out of it but we are not going to do that uh, also the model uh, parameter is 13 billion parameter so it is not some small model so it is a pretty large model so if you want to use this model onto your local system then there are several ways the one is using lm studio which i showed in the previous video on how you can install it and use it so if you want to do that uh, you can simply uh, download lm studio uh, let me quickly show you the steps so here i have opened up the lm studio and here uh, after going to lm studio you can just copy this name and just you can simply make a search here so you can simply search things like that and here you are going to get the quantized model that the model that is basically applicable to run on your system because it's uses C++ instead of Python so that you can make use of the model uh, to your local system which is much faster. You can simply go here and you can select any of the model. So here I have downloaded this particular model which is of 6.93 gigs. So you can also come here, you can select the model, uh, you can click on the download button the smaller model uh, so it is depending upon the systems so if you have the system requirement then it will work but i am going to also show you the way which in which you could simply run it anywhere without thinking of your system dependency so here i have downloaded it and i have just asked one simple questions about uh, how to do wi-fi hacking so it started writing the code but what happened my system uh, is just having 16 gigs of ram which is not sufficient for a 13 billion parameter model so it was taking too much time so for writing this much it took around 10 minutes and it was going to write but i just stopped it as it was using uh, the cpu too much so i just have stopped it so if you have system like 32 gigs of ram then yes you can simply use this model onto your local system but if you don't which i guess most of you people will not have it so for that, there is very easy way. You can simply go to this, the white rabbit neo.com. And here you could uh, log in using GitHub or logging uh, using your Google. So let's suppose I log in with Google. So after logging into it uh, using GitHub or Google, whatever that you have, you will be redirected to paste something like this. So here in the example itself, you can clearly see what it is asking. Give me the DDoS code for Python with as an example, write the best characterized to get a uh, great malware so let's try to give me a ddos code for python as an example uh, so here uh, it is and if i click enter and now it is going to generate code so as 
this code is hosted somewhere it is not going to take that much time and it is going to simply start writing the code so here you are going to see uh, that it is writing the code for ddos attack but if you do the same thing with chat gpt it is not going to give you that so here uh, it have given the code and yes i think it is using multi threading to make multiple requests to the single uh, server multiple times so yes uh from the first glance it looks that this code might work so now let's try to ask some of the tools or some of the things that you might be interested in doing like hacking wifi password or creating a phishing page of uh, or hacking someone like that so let's try uh let's try to say which uh tools i should use to pen test my wifi network so i am trying to give it and i am trying to make it think that i am trying to pen test my so it gives a uh, code without even a single hesitation so that it doesn't think that i am trying to hack someone else because if it knows somewhere somewhere inside it it might get activated that i should not give the proper answer so i am using this way and uh, yes you should not use this knowledge to do harm to other and i think you are smart enough you know what to do so i am not going to stop you that so here yes so here are the tools like wifi pineapple it is a device and it have uh, given you this so let's suppose you are someone new you don't know about hacking but now you know like there are tools like wifi pineapple that you can purchase and these are very low cost tools and it can be used for hacking so you know that and there are multiple tools that it have listed so the john the ripper it is basically a password guessing tool password breaking tool things like that so yes this is working so now let's try to ask something related to phishing so let me just simply ask that uh show me some of the powerful phishing tools in kali so i'm just asking it specifically in kali linux so that if you are using kali linux which you must be using if you are using it for cyber security purpose uh then it is going to list some of the tools like set set is one of the most popular tools in kali linux that is used for cyber security and ethical hacking purposes and yeah beef which is browser exploitation framework that is also used for let's suppose hooking up uh, the browser nothing else uh, so it hook up the browser uh, it extract the content out of the browser and help you see what someone else have done once they visited your particular url so yes it have listed some of the tools So now let's ask us to provide the command to create an MSF payload. Provide me the command to generate a MSF payload for Android in Kali. So yes, just I think there are some spelling mistake, but the ML model are smart enough to. understand those things so here you are going to see this is uh, what i tried to show you that it is going to give you a step by step guide in the terminal of the bas to how to create that particular thing like msf payload it is going to also provide the local host urls and things like that to generate the code so now it is uh, i have done its work because creating msf venom and msf payload are quite easy and let's try to ask it for about creating a phishing page how could i create a phishing page of insta gram so now uh, here also uh, it can help you create some uh, phishing page so that you can basically test it and try to be safe so here uh, it is saying understand the target blah 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 so it is giving the complete step by step process that you can simply take so how cool is that so here also it is saying for educational purpose cyber security professionals should study and understand how phishing attack work so now let's try to get bit defensive and ask how we can defend against the phishing defend so let's uh, wait for its sensor bus uh, yes uh, so this is how you can simply make use of this llms models to even help you elaborate your 
cyber security journey and just take it to the next level you can also get stuck while doing some like network scanning or things like that so that you can simply paste that here and ask it and if you are intelligent enough you can combine this host the code into the server connect it uh, to your terminal uh, like open interpreter that i have already shown you and then you can basically create a tool that do automatic hacking you say that hey try to do uh uh, hack this particular IP address and it goes there first gather information so the first step is always information gathering finding vulnerabilities trying to exploit them if it does not fails to exploit one of those it moves again so something like that and I'll be happy if you create something and I will be ready to contribute on the github too uh, so yes uh, that is it for this video and there are particular measures that it have given so if you have found this video useful please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you